Here's something I want to know. How are people so clean and organized? Sam and I spent hours cleaning this place yesterday. It was sparkly clean for a little bit and then and then just literally less than a day later. It's just blah. How do people do it? I'm so jealous of people that are good at being organized. And I'm overexposed, now I'm underexposed. This is great. But a few things, late last night we ordered a Tesla, so that's happening. It's crazy, it's just all online. I used my buddy's affiliate link, <laughs> thanks Terrell. Get like a thousand free miles or something. Yay, if you guys buy a Tesla, use my affiliate link. And then we both get a thousand supercharger miles or something like that, I don't know. But yeah, we are beyond excited. We got the fastest Model 3, zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. I can't wait. The best part of the whole ordering experience is like after you go click online and do all that stuff, it just says, hey, congratulations, order confirmed. There's a little, uh, what do you call those? Uh, I wanna say porcupine, no, hedgehog, hedgehog. <laughs> it's so adorable. But speaking of electric things, check this out. It says, keep this box in case you need a return. It has a 24 month warranty. I imagine you might want that box because it has all these stickers on it for shipping batteries, because that's. Essentially what this is, a giant battery. So check this out, this was sent out to me from F, Delta. What is that symbol right there? I think it's an E. What intrigued me about this is that this was originally a Kickstarter campaign, but it just killed and destroyed. And whenever that happens, it's a sign that's like, hmm, people really want this. So let's check it out. Oh, this is a big boy. All right. First impressions, it's a bit heavy. It's not heavy, heavy but it's not lightweight. But that makes sense when you consider how much power that this thing holds. So it's 30.9 pounds or 14 kilograms, but the capacity, 1260 watt hours. Holy shit, that's a lot of power. Just to give you an example, the Canon EOS R battery, I think it's like 10, and it could output 1800 watts. 1800 watts, that's pretty similar to like a circuit in a house to power. I think the Airy M18 is a light that we often use and that's 1800 watts. And the beauty of that is 1800 is just the right amount to where you can plug it into a household socket without it being over. So this being able to do 1800 watts is pretty significant. Enough technical nonsense, let's take a look at this thing. We got our six different outlets and our car outlet right here. So back here is the solar charging, the power charging, and overload protection 20 amp max. And on the other side, we have two USB chargers, two fast charge, and two USB-C. What else we got in here? Whoa, we got some cables. I honestly don't know much about electrical stuff. I just know what people tell me. Hey, don't plug that light into that socket. <laughs> what else do we have? Another cable that also looks interesting. I'm sure we're gonna figure all this out in a minute. But first things first, they want us to fully charge it to 100 before we use it, so let's do that. It says it's gonna get a full charge in under two hours. Yeah, that was one of the cool things about it is how fast it charges up. So I'm gonna plug this in back here and let's see if anything happens. All right, so this little display turned on. Wow, yeah, this thing definitely charges fast. You hear all the fans blowing and it's inputting a thousand watts right now. So it's drawing a lot of power, but this thing is going up fast. It's already at 37% and only been here for a couple minutes. It's saying it's gonna be able to do the rest of the charge in 47 minutes. Now this is the other part of it, which I think is really cool. EF EcoFlow solar panels, 110 watts. Does that mean with full sun, it can charge 110 watts? Comes in a nice case and everything. It's like hard on one side. Is there anything in here? No. This here is a solar panel. Whoa! So I'm excited to test this thing out. I've been considering getting like, you know, like a backup power generator. You know, sometimes generators are nice if you're camping or doing something outdoors, but they're kind of noisy. You have to change the oil. This is way easier, way smaller. And if I could power it off this thing, oh, now we're talking. All right, so today is hopefully the day that Sam clears under 200 pounds. What does it say? Oh, you're 200.4. Dude, you're so close right now. Once he clears 200 pounds, we get to go eat at one of our favorite restaurants because that's our motivation for this whole thing. <laughs> this is how you solar power something. You lay it over here on the, on the ground uh, and then you concentrate and just think to yourself, photosynthesis. Uh. That's just Sam normal. 
He's not even acting for the camera. That's just how he is. So I started using this battery pack all yesterday. I powered everything, my computer, the TVs. I've basically just been trying to drain it since last night. And I got it to about, what, 64%. But these solar panels are really what I'm pretty excited about. Oh my God, it's so bright this morning. Are we doing it? Are we harvesting energy? So we got that plugged in to here. Oh snap, it is. 47, 49, 48 watts, wow. Yeah, that's usually around how much power my MacBook Pro 16 inch draws when it's plugged into here. What if I do this? It, it completely dipped out, it's like zero. Get out of my sun, bro. Now we're back, we're getting light again. 13, 29, 36, 41, yeah. And as soon as you walk in there, it just, it, it kills yeah. it. Get out of Instantly. there. Instantly, that's yeah. crazy. So this bag itself is pretty stiff and I guess that's so that you can stand it up. So that's pretty nifty. It's a little stand to give it some angle. And let's see if we got any more power out of it. So we're at 64% right now and at this input, it's saying it's still gonna take five hours to charge it up to full. But the thing that's cool is you can draw power out of here as you charge it up. So if you're out camping or whatever, might as well just have it set up and just leave it out for the day while you use it. So that's that's pretty sweet, huh? What do you have like a, like a sweater or a shirt that on the, on the back, it's made with like solar panel material. It makes it like a cool little design, but it's also functional because it could draw enough energy to charge your phone. Or have a backpack that has solar panels on it. Yeah, I think that was a Kickstarter campaign. Steven from Thailand, he like had a backpack. And it had like a little hole in it because the solar panels apparently supposed to go in it. That's kind of a cool idea. But this thing drawing 100 watts? I'm honestly actually impressed. That's actually a decent amount of power. Oh man, this is hot. I think that's a good thing, right? I don't even know why I get so excited about solar power. I think it's just the idea of creating my own energy. Next time we go camping or a long road trip or you know, just having it around the house just in case a blackout happens, that's really awesome to have. But where else it's also gonna really apply to me is when we do a shoot at a remote location, the question is, how do you do lighting? Because right now we often use a little generator and it makes a lot of noise. You need gas, you need to maintain it. You can't use it indoors because of the fuel so I want to know like how long can this battery pack power like my studio? First of all, this is gonna be really useful. It's the V-mount charger for the red. There's this one shoot where we were gonna go out to the middle of the desert and just film all day so we literally had to just rent a ton of these batteries but with one of these we should be able to charge this like eight times or something like that all right yeah so it's charging no problem i'm curious what the power draw of this thing is so it's charging it at a rate of about 95 watts so that's pretty cool if you have a decent amount of sun and you set up those solar panels you could essentially charge this up with just the panels the power will just go straight through and you'd be able to charge these without discharging this. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I remember that shoot very clearly. It was just super hot. We were in the middle of the desert. We had plenty of sun. So we probably could have gone there with just two batteries. And with this thing, we could have lasted all day. Now it does make a noise and you might be like, oh, it's a little bit loud because you can definitely hear the fan. But if you compare it to a generator, then this, I'm gonna put the mic right up to it. Can you hear it? I'm just gonna try to power my entire studio off this for a second and see how it handles. Now this is going to power this light now. And I usually have this aperture 120D Mark II at about 50%. And that's drawing an extra like 40-ish watts, but let's see if I can crank it all the way up. Here's another thing I wanna do. Okay, I'm going to put this light full power. I'm gonna put this light full power, and we're gonna just blast everything. We have the camera, audio recording stuff on, the monitor, all this is on. And at the same time, charge this battery, which is 100 watts on its own. You definitely hear the fan starting to kick up on this because there's quite a bit of power draw. Now we're drawing about 600 watts, which is still like a third of what this thing can output. So we're way clear. Obviously with this much power, it's not gonna last very long. It's saying about an hour maybe. But it is cool to know that this battery pack can power all this up. So that's awesome. This would be a really cool solution for times like that. But if you're shooting all day, like you got a 12, 15 hour shoot day, then maybe a generator is still the better option because you could just bring a ton of fuel. Opposed to this where when the battery's dead, it's dead. The generator, as long as you have fuel, you can just keep it going all night. So, you know, the time and place for each tool. Anyways, let me lower all these back down. I'm going blind. It's too much light. 
This one back here is usually at 10%. Literally, the minimum amount of brightness is where I keep that. And same with this light. I keep these as dim as they go. So it's off, and literally right as it comes on is where I stop it. And if you have a controlled environment like this, you really don't need that much light. So at this level, it's saying you can power this for about 12 hours. And that's with a battery that's not full. It's at 70% right now. So even if I get a complete blackout in here, I could still be making these videos for, I don't know, 17, 18 hours off one of these batteries. So. That's pretty cool. I don't own generators or anything like that. So whenever there's a power outage, which has happened a couple of times, it's just like we walk around with candles, like we're ancient Romans or something going through a cave. Let's see if I turn it off. It's just, oh yeah. With how efficient LEDs are now, you know, you don't have to worry as much about, you know, blowing a circuit. But before LEDs, we were using Fresnel lights. And like, if we plug in a 1K, we could plug in a 650. And then if we wanted to plug in anything else, we you'd put that on a different circuit to be safe. There's a lot of things to think about using, you know, tungsten lights opposed to LEDs. So I love LEDs. Also tungsten's super hot. Tungsten's look great. They're really clean lights. They're probably still some of the cleanest lights out there, but it just, it's very inefficient. I'll throw a link to this guy in the description and how much does it cost? Let's see. Oh, and also looks like they're giving me a discount code. So you get an extra hundred bucks off with code EFG Nagata and the code is valid till June 1st. But how much is it? Oh, okay. So $13.99 or $12.99 with a discount, but you know, with a solar panel, it's $17.98. So it's definitely not cheap. So if we compare it to like a generator, a 3000 watt Honda generator is about 2000 bucks. So I guess it's kind of close, but you know, that's 3000 watts. Uh, let's look at something closer to what we've got. Looking at this one, about 2200 surge watts. So this one's about what, 1200 bucks. So I guess it's not too far off from what you would pay for a generator. Like I don't know that much about electricity, but like it seems like there's a lot of interest in this because their goal was like 50 grand and they raised $2.8 million. I guess the reason why people like it is like a generator, sure you can buy it, but the maintenance, the oil, and yeah, I've had gas powered generators before. The, the maintenance, not fun. Also the amount of fuel, I guess that starts to add Add up and they also smell too like after you run it all day and you put it back in your car to drive it back it's like it starts to smell safety use indoors i mean i do like that i'm running this right next to my face right now if this was a gas generator i might pass out <laughs> recharge zero to 80 in 60 minutes that is actually nice and from what i've heard most other banks like this you take a couple days to recharge but this one zero to 80 in 60 minutes that is impressive here it says lifetime battery warranty but i think that's only for the kickstarter campaign i think if you were to buy it now normally i think it's like a two-year warranty is that what it said on the box that is probably one of the things i want to get to the bottom of is like what's the longevity of the this thing. And speaking of Teslas, it says you can, you know, even power your Tesla probably just for, you know, a few miles, but hey, <laughs> you could power an electric hammer, which apparently uses 850 watts. I want to go electric hammer in the most random places. <laughs> I mean, it does seem like a pretty dope product. One thing I have heard though, I got to mention it. EF stands for EcoFlow. And I looked up their last previous version. It's got one and a half reviews out of three stars. So, you know, it's only three reviews, you never know. But basically people are complaining about having no support after the warranty ends and maybe warranty should be at least three years, uh, rock bottom customer service. So that, not great, but this was summer of 2019. I imagine a lot of it had to do with the fact that they were a small company then. I mean, after they got $2.8 million of funding, hopefully they've been able to kind of handle that a little bit better. But yeah, longevity is the one thing I still want to test. But yeah, as far as I can tell, as of right now, it seems like a pretty dope product. I appreciate it. EF Delta for sending this over. EF stands for EcoFlow. I finally realized that. EcoFlow Delta. 1300 is this version. Link in description with the code if you want to save 100 bucks off. But I kind of messed up. I got this notification from Amazon saying that I ordered like a few small packages and they got delivered to my old address. How did that even happen? I don't know. I order from Amazon all the time and it's always just automatically come here but it sent it to my old address which is over in this neighborhood called silver lake so i don't know what do i do do i just go back to my old place and just try to you know hop the fence and just go grab it because they sent me a picture of it and it's just sitting underneath the mailbox i know exactly where it is i don't know i guess we might need to go there and try to retrieve this package and i also miss the neighborhood too so it'll be good we could get some pupusas over there 
It's really good food. Should we go? Let's let's do it. Check it out. I'm talking to Steve on my watch. On your end, it sounds pretty good. It doesn't sound like I'm talking to a watch and talking to a phone. Cannot tell the difference. All right, Steve can't tell the difference. So the microphone in here must be at least as good as the one on the phone, at least for phone calls. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's kind of cool. I'm also charging up the battery some more. I got the solar panel out over there. Steve, do you think it's cool that I'm using solar power? <laughs> oh my god, I have allergies, sorry. Anyways, it's cloudy now, so I wanted to see if it gets any sort of charge when it's cloudy. And, you know, when it's lightly cloudy, I notice it'll get like, you know, 5 to 10 watts. But right now, it's pretty cloudy. It's not really getting anything. Sometimes you'll say like 5 watts and then just go back to zero. But, you know, not much. So really, to utilize this thing, you want some direct, direct sun. Anyway, I want to open up this package real quick and then we'll head over to Silver Lake. 10 to 18 millimeter. My lens collection getting a little bit out of control, but I really wanted this lens for this a6600. Oh yeah, nice and super wide. This is this is perfect. So we got the new lens on the Sony, and this is the setup we're planning on using tomorrow for the 24 hour straight vlog. I'm just gonna keep it on shutter priority or time value. And I'm just gonna keep everything on auto except for the shutter speed. So I'm gonna have it on shutter priority. I put in the shutter speed and that should be it. Back in my old neighborhood. What is going on over there? There's a house on fire over there. Really? Dang, they made this place look nice. They were doing construction here the whole time I was living here. My old place. Feels like I haven't been here in a long time. This is still messed up. So they haven't fixed that, but this door is new. I remember this door being the worst door ever, but it's like they fixed it. <gasps> There's my package right there. I can see it. You see that yellow package right there? See that? I think we need to hop this garage gate over here. I was literally just about to like climb this to try to get over, but it's just, all right, cool. <laughs> I used to have to walk up the staircase every single time we were done with the shoot, but we just had a nice view. Oh man, it's only been a year since I left, but it feels like it's been forever. It's interesting to see that not much has changed. It's all still the same, except for this new door here. Got my package. You know what I had delivered here? Whew. Little cable organizer. And, and some travel floss. What were you expecting a little more? Well, for an hour drive, yes. <laughs> yeah, it is about like 30 minutes each way, so that does amount to about an hour of driving for this. Anyways, pupusas? Oh, I was just gonna say, is there any like cool restaurants that you miss? The pupusa <laughs> place. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I am so full. I was gonna try to film the food when it came out, and then I forgot. So I just filmed a little bit of the leftovers, and there. <laughs> I'd be a terrible food vlogger, huh? Like as soon as the food comes out, I just like immediately just go blah, 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 blah. I can't, I, and then I go, oh wait, I was supposed to film that. Are Crap. you one of those people that wait until everybody else gets their food to the table? Sometimes, it depends on who's around. If it's like a business thing or something like that, then I always wait for everyone to get their food before. But if it's just like, if it's like you, I'll just be like, and then just start eating. <laughs> and one last thing I want to test with this thing is like, even at 1%, can it still output all the power I needed to? We're going full blast on everything once again. There we go. Oh my God, everything is bright. And yeah, we're drawing almost 600 watts of power out of this thing, even though it's at 1% and it still works solid. Good job. All right, so tomorrow is gonna be the day we are gonna do it, the 24 hour straight vlog. So as soon as I wake up in the morning, Gonna have this camera ready to go. Got a 256 gig card in here, bunch of external batteries. Gonna take this and literally set this right next to the bed. And as soon as I wake up, I'm gonna hit record and I'm not gonna cut for 24 hours straight. 24 hours is a long time. So we're obviously gonna have lots and lots of time on our hands and I'm gonna need some content. So I'll probably be reading a bunch of these comments. So drop some comments and we'll probably read through a ton of comments tomorrow. Are you guys ready to do the 24 hour straight vlog? You guys ready? Are you ladies ready? Who's all good dog? Who's all good dog? All right, see you guys tomorrow.